And we're off to Greenwich. It's growing so much. Ah. Right, and Halloween dog pajamas. <laughs> I won't say this is a light lunch. <laughs> Maggie's being a tourist for the day. Good morning everyone. How are we all? I hope you're all doing very well. Welcome back to my channel and to a Friday and Saturday vlog because you're going to watch this on Sunday, which is coming, so it's going to be like real time-ish. <laughs> I hope you're all doing it very well. It's quite early in the morning, it's just gone nine, but well, nine in the morning, it's not that early. Um, I'm actually off into town this morning, Canary Wharf, to showcase the shopping area, which is really cool. It's not an area I often go to, but I used to live in Greenwich, so I used to go a lot, but now that I'm more on the other side of London, I don't go that often, so it's going to be nice to have a look around. Um, we're going to meet up with my friend Sam, have a little bit of lunch. Um, Zara's working from home today, so she's got Maggie. But first things first, I actually have to go to the hospital this morning. Um, I think I've spoke about this on my Instagram, but maybe not on my YouTube. Um, I'm having psoriasis light treatment done. Um, I've suffered with psoriasis pretty much since like my early teens and it got really bad throughout um, like lockdown and the start of the year just because of like, the emotions and the stress and I think, yeah, it was just triggered a lot by that, but it's been going really well. However, I don't know if you can tell, I had these, <laughs> let me see if I can, I had these like patches on my eyes and the lines where I have to wear the goggles, so that's not grace. I've just got to ride the highs with the lows. If I look like a bit like a panda in this video, <laughs> that's why. But outfit wise, I've gone for just a white t shirt with like this nice um, mint jacket. I was like, more like a sagey jacket. This is in River Island last year. Um, trousers are Marks and Spencer's, and shoes are Lyle and Scott. Oh, also, this is new. This fern is new. I actually found this on a walk with Maggie. Um, it was outside someone's house, literally just by their rubbish being thrown away. So I just repotted it and given it some water, and it seems to be doing really well. Really, really happy with it. I'm also quite glad I'm leaving the flat today because that noise that's just stopped is constantly going on. More roadworks than we'd like to imagine. So yeah, I'm off to the hospital, and then I will be back to see you guys in a bit. She's fast asleep on Zara's lap. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Look, look at these guys. She won't be able to do that much longer. She's growing so much. Ah. Right, see you guys in a bit. Bye, Max. So, skin treatment is all done. I actually spoke to one of the dermatologists and then they basically gave me like a visor to stop these marks on my face, which is really good. So that's positive and it's clearing up around my body as well, which is just like such a dream. So it's nice that it's actually working. Um, so I'm just gonna hop on the tube now and head along to Canary Wharf. I'm very excited, have a little mooch around the shops. I need to try and find a suit because I just announced on my Instagram this morning, me and Ewan, Mr. Carrington, are presenting the um, Vlogs Hero Awards 2021, so I need to find some kind of suit and attire. Um, and I know Canary Wharf has that kind of shop, so, so yeah, I'll take you along for that. So I've just popped into a Leon to get some porridge. I felt a bit faint off in my light therapy, so I went for the cinnamon, actually. The cinnamon and date porridge, it is the best. So I'm gonna eat this and then go on the tube. <laughs> I'm just walking through um, like the outskirts of Borough Market, and um, I know I've had a couple of messages and like comments from you guys saying that you're planning on coming to London. And I just thought of an idea, maybe I could do a video of my favourite food markets in London. So let me know if you'd like to see that because obviously Burrow Market's up there at the top. But um, there's a couple more that I really like. So um, yeah, let me know if that would be something you'd like to see because I'd gladly show you around and eat my way around possibly all the best food markets in London. But um, I'm going to head on the tube now and head to Canary Wharf after my breakfast. <laughs> Zara, I just popped into Massimo Dutti, which is like duty or duty, it's like an Italian clothes store. Anyway, Zara's always a good one, and they've got so much autumnal stuff in. Let me show you. This jacket is wonderful, it's a bit of me. It's lined as well, so, well it's not lined, but it's kind of like warm in the middle, it's 49.99. It's lovely. They also have some sweater vests as well, but I don't think I'm cool enough to pull them off. I really like this one too. This is 45.99. Again, like really lovely thick material. I think a lot of people have misconceptions about Canary Wharf. I mean, it is commercial, like we're literally surrounded by skyscrapers and it feels very much a business place. 
However, it's just so lovely that it's just common as well and they've really put a lot of effort into making it. Fab, so if you are heading to London, it's not too far out, it's literally just on the Jubilee line. And it's very nice, and like I say, there's loads of shops here, so it's fab. I'm gonna take a look in Reese now because I always get some lovely pieces in there and I just really love their clothing. I think it's so timeless, so we're gonna take a look in now. Just found this lovely, like almost turquoise blue suede jacket. It's gorgeous. It's a little bit expensive, but it is very, very nice. And I have a really nice cord blue shirt next to it too, which I love. It's got like this pocket detail. It's really nice. This one is 118. They also have the same jacket and like a lovely olive green too. Lovely, so, so nice. <laughs> So we are in the Ivy in Canary Wharf and we're having a couple of cocktails and then we're going to order some lunch. I've gone for something really refreshing because it's actually still quite warm, even though it's a bit miserable, I'll show you. This Ivy's lovely, they've got some outside seating and then we are just on this little table here. I'm with Sam, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> We've ordered two quite refreshing cocktails. Sam's gone for a Paloma, which is like tequila, and then I've got one for which is like ginger beer and gin. So we're going to enjoy. I would say this is a light lunch. <laughs> Maybe not. We've gone for some truffle fries. I oh, know, sorry, some zucchini fries. Sam's gone for a duck salad, and I've gone for. I mean, look, this looks like a work of art. Quail's it egg, really doesn't nice. it? Quail's egg with um, a potato, gratin, rusty, creamy truffle mushrooms, and then this is like a little sauce to go with the zucchini fries. This is just the starter. I know. The mains have arrived. I mean, the fact that we've done a starter and a main for lunch, I'm blaming Sam. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sam's gone for a fish pie, which looks gorgeous. Look at that. I want to see about 20 times the size of all this. Oh, look at that, though. Really it looks look. amazing. Nice look. Oh, my God. The mash looks... If I ate fish, I'd order that, without a doubt. Um, and then I've gone for a truffle and mushroom linguine. So I'm back home. Oh, what a day. I quickly nipped to a, um event after I was at lunch with Sam. It was with Hellman's, actually. It's Hellman's mayonnaise, and it was a pop-up all about combating food waste, and it was all of their vegan deliciousness which was really nice and now i'm home hello darling hello maggie moo hello hi hi i've missed you all day i've missed you all day all of the day today i've missed you <laughs> <gasps> look how big she's getting look at that she needs to grow into her legs a bit more but she's just yeah. doing brilliantly isn't she come on maggie <gasps> look at you Thank wow you. wow Oh, God, what a day. Zara's off work for a week, aren't you? I know. She took a yeah. holiday of seven Lord. days, because the plan was hopefully for us to get away, but now we've got this little terror. And then it's seven days of loving Maggie. It is seven days of loving Maggie, and it saves us a lot of money, doesn't it, to go on holiday. Instead, That's we got... Until we just keep buying our stuff. Yeah. I'm like, you, you need another toy. <laughs> seven days on holiday, or 12 million years of loving Maggie Moo. I know which one I'd prefer. The holiday. No, I'm <laughs> oh, she loves it. She got this duck from Zara's Nana and she is obsessed with it. So much so she's ripped the stuffing out of it already. I thought I'd quickly show you what I got in um, Kiehl's. I popped in, obviously, the one in Canary Wharf and this is the cleanser I've got. I swear by this cleanser. I haven't had it in quite a while, but it's the Deep Cleansing Foam and Face Wash. And it's really good for um, combination to oily skin, which is what I have. So it's very good. They had 25% off all of their products as well when you bought two. And then I also got this, the Oil Eliminator 24-Hour Anti-Shine Moisturizer, which is brilliant because, again, I get quite oily skin. So honestly, I swear by Kiehl's. And then this has just arrived. Zara ordered this last week. So this is to actually go in the frame in the toilet that we have. Um, she ordered this off of Etsy. And we just really like like the vintage style of it. And um, we got the picture frame in a charity shop in Plymouth. So we're going to go and pop it in now. So this is the print. It's, do you know what? I've just popped it on the frame. And it's the tiny, tiny littlest bit too small. So when we're out and about tomorrow, we'll get some back and card to frame it. But it is... Very, very cool. I think that looks amazing. So Zara's made dinner this evening. We are having a HelloFresh. It's tostadas with some coriander, lime, roasted veggies. And um, yeah, it looks delish. Oh, and Maggie trying to get it up. Okay, no, 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 <laughs> down. So we finished up dinner and Maggie is chilling on the lap. On the lap. We're watching Clickbait on Netflix and it is so good. We're on episode four. It's very, very watchable. Um, I think it's rated number one in the UK, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Mm, it's very good. Look how much, like, she's taken up half the sofa now. <laughs> it's scary me how much she's grown. But anyway, we're going to watch some of this and then um, have a little bit of a break and watch, um, watch some ice cream. We're just going to watch the ice cream. 
We're gonna eat the ice cream um, and we're gonna have some apple pie. <laughs> Good morning, so today is Saturday and we're off to Greenwich. Yeah, which is actually really strange because I was only thinking this morning, the last time we were there was when we were buying stuff for her before we had her. Oh, it is, yes, Greenwich is, um, oh my God, Greenwich is the place for like big retail stores. So we get Maggie's food there, we get all of her treats, we get just everything, like all of the supplies. And we've had her three, this is the third week we've had her now and she's starting to run out of bits. So we're just gonna do a bulk, like reorder. Um, and then we're gonna take her into Greenwich Park, which is very exciting because um, it's just gorgeous. Look, she's in the back. There we go. <laughs> um, a couple of you have said about the car hammock that we have. It does actually attach to my front seats as well, but we thought with her just being quite small, she's obviously got her puppy seat belt on, so she's locked and loaded in there. Locked and loaded? But um, we, we don't feel like it's gonna be necessary until she's a little bit older. And then obviously if we do an emergency stop, she's gonna be safe, but she's she's fully in there, isn't I'm she? In London driving. Yeah, we don't go very fast at all. There we are, Mags. You got your seat belt on, good to go. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna drive there. And then, if we can have a get little pub lunch maybe, Oh yeah, I haven't actually thought of lunch. There's a couple of, um, your makeup looks really nice today by the way. Really? That's very kind, thank um, you. There's a couple of lovely pubs in the Greenwich area, so um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be able to get a little pub lunch. Or like a burrito, because you oh, know the... yeah, the market. Mm. Yeah, I'll vlog some loads of bits and maybe a little cheeky trip to Home Sense. See you Oh no, no, I am going to Home Sense. Good, we can get some autumnal decor and give the flat a bit of a judge for autumn, but um, yeah. We're gonna drive to Greenwich now. It's arrived in Greenwich, parked up. Look at the little poochin tour, come on. I know I said this before about parks, but I'm gonna go as far as saying Green Park, Greenwich Park, and Richmond Park are my three favorites. I just love them. Greenwich has got a special place in my heart. She's a dab hand at fetch as well. Thank Good you. girl, Mags. Thank you. Drop, okay. thank you, thank you very much. Drop, drop it, drop it, drop, ah, 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 ah. drop. <laughs> Fetch, but she doesn't retrieve. Ah, there we go. Ready? Make a Fetch it. Good girl. Welcome to London. Come on. Come on, Maggie. Whenever the gust of wind picks up and the leaves move, she just runs like a crazy one. She's doing so well off the lead as well. Obviously, people are having picnics, there's food around on the floor. She only had one little escape. Good girl, Mags. <laughs> We're gonna go grab some lunch from Greenwich Food Market and I think just eat it out in the park because it's such a lovely day, isn't it? These houses in Greenwich are so lovely. They're like beautiful, old, most like Georgian and Edwardian townhouses. They're fab. Just gonna head into the area town bit now, grab some food. And something tells me we're gonna have some ice cream after our dinner, because this looks amazing, yeah. look at these. Wow. Yeah. Welcome to Greenwich Market. <laughs> There's so many vendors in here today, it's a really busy Saturday. So lovely to see as well. We're heading towards the street food now. So we're inside the market, there's steak and chips. We're gonna go for a teriyaki Japanese. They've got Ethiopian fried chicken, so much. And then it's gonna be time for Maggie's lunch. She just met a Labrador that was exactly like her, but fully- But like she's tired her out there. She's yeah, like... she's super sleepy. It's also been a new vegan and um, vegetarian cake and coffee shop that's opened here called Ruby's in Greenwich. I didn't have this one, I lived here, it looks fab. So this is what we've gone for, we're just gonna share a portion of these veggie noodles and Maggie's gonna have her lunch in a second. So just grabbed a little espresso after our lunch and we're now inside 
Well, basically, I lived in Greenwich a few years ago, and I've never been inside here before. It's beautiful. I feel like we're on the set of like Downton Abbey or Bridgerton. Let me show you. So this is the old Royal Naval College, and it's absolutely incredible. They've filmed so much here, um, lots of like Marvel, Avengers films, period dramas. It is just amazing. This is obviously where um, the Greenwich Uni is too. So that's yeah, gorgeous. And then Canary Wharf, where I was yesterday, is just over there. You guys listen carefully there's someone practicing piano in there wow maggie's being a tourist for the day <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, I am flabbergasted about how beautiful this is. Like, like I say, never, ever, ever been here in my life. And the fact that they've got the gates open, maybe it's just for this weekend, who knows? But this is. It's like we've gone. Do you remember when we went to Versailles in Paris? Yeah, and actually, we stopped in like a little square in Paris mm. and had a glass of wine. Yeah, I remember. Oh my gosh, oh. now I'm thinking of Bilbao, and that's what that little courtyard reminded me of. Yeah, this and is just. Had, like, Look at this. I mean, wow. But I just said to Zara, this is a representation of London because look, it's just steeped in history. Then you've got Canary Wharf, which is new and modern. It's just, it's just beautiful. So I've just been um, looking online and if you are visiting London and you do come to Greenwich it's actually the Painted Hall and you can go in and see it. I'll leave a photo on the screen so you can see what it's like but it's incredible. It's in the old Naval College which is just where we were. So we went into Dark Trippers and got some ice cream. I went for salted caramel and Zara's gone for Rocky Road. This was very well needed. The weather's came out beautifully today. Halloween dog harnesses and Halloween dog collars which are really cool and Halloween dog pajamas <laughs> We've got some cool funky mats as well. It says happy Halloween. I love that some nice little Halloween rugs, too I've Spotted this planter too. It's $16.99 It's got the lovely legs on the bottom too. I love the print. I think that's so nice like the texture effect It's fab some really lovely autumnal oven mitts as well And some doggy prints too Got some lovely of these DW Horn pumpkin candles as well. They're fab. Only $5.99. Just love all of Home Sense's candles. They're lovely. Sea salt pumpkin. That's $12.99. So back home from Greenwich, and I thought I'd just show you the couple of bits and bobs that we picked up. Oh, also, let me show you this garland. How lovely is this? This was included in a little box from Bailey's, which was the apple pie liqueur that I had. Um, last night, so yeah, they sent this over, so I thought it was really nice, obviously it's artificial leaves, but I popped it on the fireplace. I just think it looks really autumnal with all the browns. <laughs> Do excuse Maggie's toys just there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just think that looks really nice. Anyway, this is the planter that I got in HomeSense. This was $16.99, and there was reasoning behind why I got this. I think it's actually an outdoor one, however, we've got this little fiddle fig, fiddle fig or figgle fig <laughs> um, leaf plant, and Maggie seems to be dipping her nose in the soil, so we're gonna swap that out and pop that plant pot in storage. I think this one's gonna give it a bit more height just so she can't get in it until she's a bit bigger, and hopefully by then she'll have figured out not to. I also got another um, festive candle, this one is in apple caramel cider with cinnamon, nutmeg, and clove. And I just thought this was really nice. It's got like obviously the tartan ribbon around and then the lid as well. I just think it was really lovely. This was $7.99, yeah, $7.99. Gorgeous. Wedges of red delicious apples simmered with spicy cinnamon, warm nutmeg, and a sprinkle of crushed clove. I also nipped into Primark. I swapped out some hangers I bought. I bought some white ones thinking that they'd look okay, but mixed with the wood, they just didn't really look that great. So I swapped those out, and then I also picked up some more of these metal gold ones. These are great because they're so thin. So great if you've got like a smallish wardrobe like I do. We also just picked up some more doggy bags. 
for Maggie and some bin liners. Sarah picked up these sunflowers. We just thought they'd be really nice to pop in the middle of the dining table because we haven't had flowers in quite a while, so they'd be really nice. And then I nipped into Hobbycraft just to buy a piece of card. So I knew that the back end of this wasn't white white, but this is kind of like the closest I could kind of get to it, so I'm gonna cut a piece to size, so then we can pop this in the loo. This is what it looks like. I really, really like it. I think it fits in beautifully. So the frame we actually got in a charity shop in Plymouth. And the print, as I said, is from Etsy. I'll um, ask Zara for the link and then we can link it down below. So, it's time for dinner. Do excuse the clock behind us. The batteries are broken again. I swear we change those clock batteries more times than anything else in this flat. And um, we're making burgers for dinner this evening. So we've got some lettuce. We're going to do red onion. We've got some tomatoes. We nipped into the shop earlier and Zara got some white sourdough rolls. So I just made a quick coleslaw in this bowl here. And then in the air fryer, we're gonna do some chips or fries. These look so good. We've actually just halved the burgers just because the buns are quite small, but I've done cheese with pickles, burger sauce, onion, tomato, and lettuce, and then we've got some air fried fries. Beer battered onion rings. Beer battered onion rings with some um, barbecue sauce and then some slaw. This literally is like my favorite food. Like this is comfort food to the extreme and I love it. Right, so I'm gonna end this vlog here. We just finished possibly one of the best series we've seen in quite some time on Netflix called Clickbait. We were recommended to watch it. And if you have Netflix, highly recommend you watch it. It was very, very good. It's eight episodes, very gripping, very tense. Very cleverly thought out, but we've just finished that and now we're gonna head to bed. It's Saturday when I'm filming this and this is gonna be up in the morning. So you've got a real insight into a live week with me. <laughs> um, I really hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching, as always. If you could give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you all very soon in a future video. Bye for now.